Okay, the HF antenna for limited space experiment continues. So this is it transmitting on 10 watts into our out on 80 meters, our at Central Victoria, Central West. And you can see it's we've got terrible static crashes, it's just crazy tonight. But hopefully you get to see the signal. When it does the carrier, I'll hold the carrier just one sec. Okay, I'll hold the carrier. So oh, it's lost the QSB there. It does sometimes peak. Yeah, there was a seven. Hang on. Six. So it's fading about a bit. But as you can see, yeah, so about a seven there, right? And I'm running 10 watts on the IC705. 100% there. I'll just get the beacon rolling again. Now. What's going to surprise you is, it's uh, this is the, uh, uh, that's no longer in use, that was the bias T. I'm no longer doing magnetic tuning. This is the choke. It's a couple of the radials. And there's the uh, sort of the hot side of the antenna. So what you'll see is, like this field strength meter is uh, definitely, I mean even the lights in here are just there for when it's being overdriven. So. Um, it's a 50 micro meter with LEDs across and you can see it's very hot. Now watch as I come past the choke, there you go, down the coax so she dies off right. Now bear with me, I'm just going to uh, run around the other side. So the top and the bottom are in the E field differential to each other, it's kind of like a three part antenna. There's the heavy current on the uh, ground side and this part is sort of like ringing on the high tension side. So it, this is not like a complete antenna but these are always inverse in the electric field. So these ring against each other and uh, feed back on each other basically in the electric field. Um, but as you can see So you can see she's very hot. Now I'll just grab my other detector, mad scientist mode, so forgive the absolute mess everywhere here. <laughs> so this is another detector. And I've got all the bright lights on, so unfortunately it's a bit harder to see all these LEDs, but you can see she's hot. Now Basically, uh, so this one is driven and this one is driven in the opposite sign, and these two are parasitic. They're just to further encourage the link through, and because uh, these do, it does project electric field lines outward, like you would from fringing of a capacitor. So this is a try to increase a coupling right along here. But as these fields collapse, so this is like storing in a capacitor, but in the surrounding around the antenna, as those fields collapse down, it all, there's a lot of fields to collapse all at once. That makes a massive back EMF, which is captured. I have some, uh, this is the copper that feeds each side, that feeds the either side of the system. And this is my today's uh, design. This is the uh, sort of resonator that uh, rings this, set, this, this system using a dielectric inductor and two inductors. Um, so yeah, and there you go. Um, and uh, radials will connect here when it's um, out and vertical. And uh, the radials, um, I'll just grab a standard meter, here we go. Yeah, uh, the radials uh, for 40 meters, it will work 80, but for 40 meters, I'm on 80 now, uh, are 3.6 meters long. And I've devised a way to achieve that and still get current all the way to the end. Where of course a normal 3.6 meter long radial on 80 meters, if you were to go with the current probe along, you'll notice that there's very little current anywhere more than halfway along it pretty much. 
Uh, so I've managed to get current all the way to the end. Very little clever trick there. But I think ideally 7.2 meter radials with my trick will uh, win out. So yeah, she seems like she's a bit up and down uh, here in the central west of Victoria. But there you go. It's definitely looking good. If I can get this from in the lounge room, not even set up properly, she's a winner. <laughs> Shame about the conditions. It is what it is. 7-3 and thanks for watching.